So this story is about the time I almost got into a fight uh, with a random pleb. Oh, excuse me, uh, stranger. Sorry, uh, at the gym. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was uh, it was a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And I had just gotten to the gym uh, when I was greeted with the smell of uh, a sweat and body odor, <laughs> like always. And it was chest day, okay? It was chest day for me, and I, so I began to do my workout pretty simple so far, right? Nothing too crazy. And, you know, I did my, uh, I did my dumbbell presses and my hammer strength presses and all that jazz. And overall, I was just, I was just overall having a good workout, you know? Now, towards the end of my workout, I decided to do some cable crossover just to, you know, maybe, I don't know, pump some extra blood uh, into the pecs as, you know, as a finisher or whatnot. And uh, as I was doing this, I actually noticed that there was this couple that, that came into the gym uh, as I was doing this, right? And they actually started using the machine that was right next to the machine I was using. And it was just a regular old cable machine with a seat and two handles. And I guess they wanted to work on their shoulders that day, so I mean, that's that's pretty much what they did. Keep in mind, this couple looked like they maybe had just started working out maybe today or even like a week ago or something like that. Either way, I haven't seen them before and I've been going to this particular gym for maybe a few years now, so I just assumed that they were new. I haven't seen them before. Uh, at all. So anyway, back to the story. Uh, as I was doing my repetitions, I actually felt this strange feeling. I don't know. I really don't know how to say it or describe it, but I guess to sum it up, I kind of felt like that I was uh, being watched or that someone was staring at me for whatever reason. I, I legit, that's, that's pretty much what I felt like. So I did what anyone would do, or at least I think they would do, and I actually, I started to look around. So I glanced to my left, right? Looked to my left to see if anyone was there, you know, watching me for whatever reason and whatnot, and, uh, and there wasn't. So then I looked to my right where this couple was working out, and lo and behold, I noticed that the, the dude's girlfriend, the girl, was actually staring at me as she was doing these, uh, doing her exercise right in front of the, uh, right in front of him, right in front of her boyfriend. Right now, I'm not the one to cause a scene or cause a commotion. Uh, for the most part, I I usually keep to myself when I'm in there. You know, I, you know, I just focus on my workout. And I don't really talk to anyone unless I know you in particular, right? I don't mind striking up a conversation if I know you. The gym is like um, the gym is like my training grounds or <laughs> or like my dojo. It's it's like the only place I can go to just you know escape my real life problems and uh, for about like an hour or two and just focusing on uh, bettering myself, you know, for health reasons and whatnot. So anyway, by the way, I'm I'm really sorry. I keep you know cutting off the story or whatever i just really wanted to like set up the scene where from where we're going so yeah don't 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 mind that so anyway i see that she's looking at me while i do my set and i just continue to mind my own business right like like i just said i keep to myself uh but in my head at the time oh my goodness this is gonna sound like I'm gonna sound like such a tool for this one, but uh, at the time I was thinking, uh, hey girl, I see you myrin, or something like that. Or I guess maybe she could have been looking at me just because I was ugly. Uh, either way, I'm judging by her expression, I'm just gonna assume that that wasn't the case. However, it could be. It definitely could be. Uh, anyway, but keep in mind, as this was happening, this was happening like while her boyfriend was trying to act I guess cool or, or smart or just trying to act uh, trying to educate her on how to do this particular shoulder exercise I, I don't really know how to explain it but uh, you could tell that he had some sort of ego or whatever and anyway, more and more on that more on that subject a bit later so again I'm just minding my own business I sit down because there was surprisingly a conveniently uh, placed bench right next to me all right so rest for about two minutes and I uh, not even 30 seconds go by when I see her boyfriend start to approach me because I guess he finally noticed uh, what was happening, uh, okay, or what was going on between his girl and, and me, whatever. So, I, I, I crap you not, this is, this is gonna blow your mind, maybe, I don't know. This is literally what this dude said. So he comes up to me and he's, he looks down on me, I look up and I say, uh, he says, uh, this is what he says, he goes, uh... Hey bro, uh, got a problem? Got a problem? Hmm? And, uh, 
Like I said, you could tell that this guy had a very big ego just by looking at him, you know, first glance, he's gonna give off the impression that he has this huge ego or whatever, like, he's like the coolest guy in the gym, and everybody wants to be friends with him, and whatnot, he knows everything, and, uh, I'm just looking at him for, like, maybe a few seconds, thinking to myself, what the hell did I just get myself into? So, I stand up. And yes, he was a bit taller than me. Actually, that doesn't even matter. I don't even know why I, I said that to begin with. Uh, anyway, so I reply to him. I, I say, uh, no man, no uh, no problem here. Just trying to get my workout in. It's legit. Or pretty much what I, 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 that's exactly what I told him. I said, no problem here. And whatever. And uh, he says, he says, uh, well, uh, yeah, I, I saw you look at my girl. And, and again, I, I thought to myself, man, really? You're really gonna start something. You are really gonna start something in front of all these people in here, just trying to get a workout in, and this is this is you trying to start something, okay? It almost sounds too good to be true. I didn't think people like this actually existed. It actually kind of sounds like, it sounds like one of those, like, uh, uh, like a movie, or uh, one of those, like, low-budget reality drama TV shows or something like that. That's that's what this, this situation reminded me of. It, like, I, I don't, like, just going through my head, thinking about it now, like, man, this sounds like something out of MTV. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. And like I said, you wouldn't think people like this actually existed, because I certainly didn't until this happened. I always thought to myself, Psh, there's absolutely no way people could act like this in real life. There really isn't. Like, it just sounded too good to be true. I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Anyway, I say to him, yeah, uh, I, I glanced at her for like a second, but I noticed that she was looking at me or in my direction for whatever reason. And he pauses for a moment and he takes a good look at me, I guess. He does like some kind of like scanning thing or, or, or whatever. He knew, again, what was going on and he ended up, he, he knew that I... <laughs> Again, this is gonna sound so I'm gonna sound like a tool for this, but he knew that I had a better physique than him Okay, he knew exactly why his girl was staring and I just want to point something out real quick I may be a bodybuilder and have been for a few years But I'm in no way the biggest guy or even the strongest guy ever in, the, in this gym Okay, and I will never claim to be okay. I never will but I will say I at least have some sort of physique that you know, tells people at first glance that, oh yeah, maybe this guy, maybe this guy does lift weights, who knows, like, maybe he's not into it, you know, like those big pros or whatever, but he, you know, he, he maybe, he maybe lifts a, a dumbbell here or two, you know, something like that, right? So back to the story, he finishes his scan, and the look on his face, and, uh, you know, I could, you could tell at this point, he was just getting really, really angry. Okay, at this point, I mean, this dude looked like he was ready to punch me or maybe even kick me uh, in the face. I mean, not that it would hurt or anything. I mean, look at those arms. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if he can go up against me. It just wouldn't be a fair fight. It, we're just, we're both on two different levels. It wouldn't be a fair fight. I wouldn't even engage him if he wanted to. And that's, I'm just being very honest with you on that one. I would not have engaged Regardless, I would have just took it to authority, whatever. But he was looking real mad. He was at this point looking like a bomb, like a bomb just sitting there, just steaming up, ready to explode. Someone lit the fuse and he was about to go off, okay? And when all of a sudden his girl steps in and says, uh, hey, uh, why don't we go try that machine over there? That's me trying to do a girl voice. Uh, I'm not very good, okay. Um, and thankfully he listened, okay? Thankfully he listened and they walk away. And I was just standing there like, phew, man, what a relief. Uh, she came in with the clutch, I thought. And uh, that's my story. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I honestly don't think I did anything wrong in this situation. I mean, again, I was minding my own business. I didn't say anything to them or to him in particular. I just glanced at the girl for a second or two. That's it, and it was only to confirm whether or not she was staring at me and yeah i again like i said i really don't think i did anything wrong i mean what do you guys think let me know if, if i should have done something different or maybe i could have handled it different i don't know this was the very first time i had encountered someone like this and i've been going to the, like i said i've been going to this gym for a few years so this was a quite the experience for me man it really was and uh yeah wow Thanks for listening to my story, guys. I'm really sorry if the animation wasn't as good. 
I'm actually a brand new aspiring animator, and this was literally my very first uh, animation, if you want to call it that. I, I promise I will get better as I continue to practice on a regular basis. I'm trying my best. Uh, again, this is just a new thing I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying out for the first time, so we'll see what happens. You know, see what happens. I, so far, I'm having a lot of fun. This is the, I'm having a, the time of my life. I. It's been a while since I was really passionate about a, a, a hobby. So uh, yeah, man. Um, hopefully, uh, we will do more in the future. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, maybe I'll make more real soon. It just depends, I guess. Uh, I know this is a really <laughs> YouTuber-ish thing to say, but I mean, if you like the video, then maybe share it with your friends or maybe your family. Maybe they'll get a, a chuckle out of this. And uh, maybe consider subscribing, hitting the bell, the notification bell or something. Uh, yeah, a little bit of that bell subscribing action. Yeah, okay, all right, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> all my social media links are in the description box below if you want to check it out, you want to chat. I'm usually really active on Twitter. Uh, maybe I'll open up a Discord real soon. Who knows? I'm thinking about it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, also, um, before I go, if any of you are curious as to what tablet I may be using or any of the equipment that I use, or even the software, I, I don't know. Uh, I threw some links in the description if you're curious, if you want to check that out, as well as some other personal picks uh, when you're uh, in the market for a new tablet or something like that and you're on a budget. So, so some a little bit of my personal picks. So go check it out if you want to. If not, don't even worry about it. All right, don't even worry about it. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much for watching again. Uh, hope you like this uh, this new kind of content that I'm, I'm trying out here. Uh, and yeah, man. Thank you so much, and uh, have an easy day.